This is Steph from Double Move Sports, and you're watching the Fantasy Film Room. Darius Geis has been dealing with injuries since 2017 when he was a junior at LSU, before being out his entire rookie season after the Redskins took him in the second round of the 2018 draft. In Week 11, he saw his first return to the field since Week 1 before he was sidelined with a knee injury. The Redskins played against the Jets at home in this game, and the Jets are 9th against the run, but I was looking forward to seeing what Geis would be able to do in his first game back. Just like Devin Singletary and Frank Gore, Darius Geis has to share a backfield with a future Hall of Fame running back in Adrian Peterson. Geis had 28% of the snap share in this game, totaling 7 carries on the ground to Peterson's 11. And in the reception category, Geis caught one of two targets while Peterson had two receptions on two targets. Geis ended his day with 13.9 fantasy points in PPR leagues. He averaged 3.4 yards per carry and took that single reception 45 yards for a touchdown. Not the worst game we've seen from a running back. Could Geis grow into his role further, albeit in the awful Redskins offense? Let's break it down. Near the top of the second quarter is when Geis got his first touch of the game. The Redskins send a man in motion and run a speed option. Haskins reads the defender and pitches it out to Geis, who gets some yards after the contact and falls forward for 9 yards and a loud cheer from the Washington crowd. What you're going to notice is Geis got most of his carries on back-to-back -back plays. In this first stretch here, Geis gets 4 touches in a row after receiving none all game. He takes it up the middle and gets 2 yards to move the chains. The next play right after is a 5-yard gain on 1st and 10. They call a swing screen to get Geis out in space, and he cuts outside before his former LSU teammate flies in with a tough hit. The next play on this four carry streak, the Redskins pull two linemen to block for Geis, but the rest of the line can't hold, so he gets toppled by four Jets defenders for just a two yard gain. Geis's next two touches come back to back in the third quarter. On first and 10, the Redskins line opens up some space before Geis lays out a Jets defender for a six yard gain. Geis runs like he is angry. He's a physical back with 4-4 speed, so he should be able to make some plays in the NFL if he's given the opportunity and his health holds up. On the play after that, the Redskins create some space for Geis at first, and then everything sort of collapses as he tries to truck stick a defender much bigger than him. As you can see, the Redskins are way behind and need to find a way back into this game with 10 minutes left to play. On first and 10, the Jets blitz Jamal Adams, who gets a direct shot to Haskins, but the rookie quarterback makes a wise check down to an open Geis, who breaks to the outside, shows off his 4-4 speed, then slows down to tell the last defender to get off of him on a 45-yard breakaway touchdown, Washington's first trip to the end zone in this game. After a Jets missed field goal, the Redskins go back to Geis through the air on the first play of the drive. He gets open, cutting across the field, but the ball bounces off his hands. Fantasy owners would have loved to see another reception here, especially after taking the last one he had for six. While Geis can catch the ball out of the backfield, he's more like a Marshawn Lynch than he is a guy like Todd Gurley or Alvin Kamara that can essentially play wide receiver. His last touch of the day was a goal line handoff up the middle just after the two minute warning. He barely, just barely falls short of the end zone, but it's very nice to see a goal line carry. Not that they happen often for the Redskins who have the lowest number of touchdowns for any offense this season. When you combine that with the split workload with AP, that is not a position you like for Darius Geis. Now Chris Thompson is set to return in Week 12, who will be competing for receptions as well. The Redskins do have some nice matchups with the Lions, Panthers, Packers, and the Giants coming up, but we know they are going to be behind in these games and need to air it out. Dwayne Haskins is a rookie that the team will try to help out by giving him checkdown options, but I doubt Geis grows much more in that role, even with a 40-yard touchdown through the air in this game. I'm not sure if I'm even excited about putting Geis on my bench in fantasy with 5 or 6 weeks left in the NFL and fantasy season. As much as I hate to say it because I've been a fan of the guy since he was at LSU, I just don't think he's worth holding on to. And if by any chance your trade deadline hasn't passed, see if you can sell him high. Keep your eyes on Geis on next year's draft board, but don't worry about him too much in 2019. Let us know in the comments who you guys would like to see me break down next. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And for more hot takes, narratives, predictions, and fantasy analysis, check out our podcast and follow us on social media. I'll see you next time.